Let's take a look at the startup and preferences option of Spectral Layers Pro 7. Under Spectral Layers Preferences, that will be on a Mac, on Windows, it will be under Edit. You can open new Preferences window with multiple tabs. The first tab is a Device, which allows you to set your uh, driver type. In this case, uh, Core Audio for Mac will be ASIO for Windows, and you have your inputs and outputs. In this case, I'm using the Dante Virtual Sound Card. You have an adjustable buffer size in here. And on the left, you have your input channel mapping and output channel mapping. With a smart remapping of an inside project channels, which will remember, depending on the selected sound card, which input-output channel mapping you had last. On the interface tabs, you have different colors scheme that you can choose from. Default transport options, you want to return to start position on stop or not. And you can uh, different layout files that you can save and recall directly from here, as well as a waveform display size. On the display tab, you have different time unit, frequency unit, power units, and frequency scales you can choose from, as well as the default display settings, which are displayed here on the upper right corner. On the system tabs, you have different paths you could select in here, as well as an external editor. In this case, I set it for new window 10.3 and WaveLab. You can have different applications and edit a particular layer directly from different applications. And shortcuts, which are default shortcuts, but you can memorize, you could save and recall, load and save different shortcuts combinations that you like for your project.